This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating all of the different ways in which you can warp text into different shapes using Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to open up a new document here with Illustrator. As you can see here, I have a text object on my screen. If you don't currently have a text object, just go ahead and grab the text tool and create a text object for yourself if you want to follow along with what I'm doing. And what I'm going to do is, with the object selected, I'm going to go to Object, Envelope Distort, and I'm going to choose Make with Warp. And once we've done that, we're going to get this menu that pops up here, and we're going to have all of these different options. These are all different shapes that we can take our text and warp it into. Uh, if you want, you could cycle through them and see just what it is that they do, all of the different options you have here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Arc up here. And if you notice, I have horizontal selected. That means it's going to take the arc and apply it to the horizontal axis. If I choose vertical, it's going to apply the arc to the vertical axis, as you can see there. So let me just put that back. Down here we have bend. This is pretty much the intensity of the, uh, the effect being applied to the text. In the center here, we have 0%. If you set it to 0, that means it's going to have no arc whatsoever. But if I move it to the left, it's going to take the bend and move it downward like that. If I move it to the right, it's going to take the bend and move it upward like that. So down here we have the distortion, which is horizontal and vertical. If I move this to the left, you'll notice that the effect is more intense on the left side rather than the right. And if I move it to the right, likewise it is more intense on the right side rather than the left. Let me just set that back to zero. <clears throat> Over here on the vertical axis, you can go ahead and change that the same way. You can distort it based on the vertical axis, as you can see there. Let me go ahead and set that back to zero. And this pretty much works the same way with all of the different shapes here. Like I said, you can just cycle through these and see what they all do. Otherwise, I have uh, I created this screen right here with all of the different shapes that you can use, all of the different presets you can use for uh, the uh, envelope distort. Um, with it, as far as text goes. If you want, you can just pause the screen right here and see what all of these different options are. If none of these shapes um, are, if, if none of these shapes are what you'd like to make your text look like, you can use custom shapes to, uh, to, to form your text. And I'm going to show you how to do that next. So uh, I'm going to create a circle right here. I'm going to grab the circles and ellipses tool. I'm going to hold uh, shift and alt and click and drag on the canvas to create a circle. Uh, let me just bring the um, the opacity of that down a little bit, just for demonstration purposes. You don't have to change the opacity of your object. I'm just creating this so you can see what it is that I'm doing on the screen here. I'm going to grab this Select tool. Now let's say I want to take the text and make the text fit this shape right here. Well, what I can do is I can right-click on this shape and go to Arrange and click on Bring to Front. We need to make sure that the object is layered on top of the text object. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag over both of those objects. And I'm going to align them on the, both the, uh, the horizontal and vertical axis like that. If you don't have your Align wind, uh, window visible, you can go to Windows and click on Align. And then it should pop up. And just go ahead and make sure that these are both centered up on the vertical and horizontal axis like that. And again, once you have them both selected like that, just go to Object, Envelope Distort, and choose Make with Top Object. And what it's going to do is it's going to take the text and make it fit the shape of the top object, which in this case is a circle, as you can see here. And once you're happy with how that looks, you can finalize it by going to Object, Expand, and then go ahead and click OK. And if you grab the Direct Select tool, you'll now see that this is finalized. This is no longer a text object. This is These are actual vector curves that you can edit and manipulate as if you drew them manually with the Pen tool. So that's how that feature works. And this doesn't just work with circles. It works with any shape you'd like. You can create all kinds of weird, crazy, different shapes and designs and make your text flow into them like I did here with this circle. It's really interesting the, uh, the ways that you can get carried away with um, creating different uh, typography um, and, and, and making it fit different shapes uh, using that feature. So uh, I think that should do it for this tutorial. That's how you can go about warping your text into different shapes using Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.